Hey, what's going on guys? Robbie Blanchard here. And if you're a digital agency owner, I want you to listen up right now because I have some business changing advice for you. So make sure you watch the video, check it out, and let's get into it. All right guys, so in this video, it's all about how to become more successful as a digital agency, right? So uh, as you know, or may maybe you don't know if you don't have an agency yet and you're thinking about starting one, uh, it's one of the best things you can ever do, right? It's very successful, it's very lucrative. Um, you can really scale it up if you play it right and you play your cards right, but guys, it's also gonna be really, really frustrating and tough and it can be a lot of work, especially if you're working with you know different types of clients, uh, clients who expect the world. If you're undercharging because you're not sure how to charge um, your prices based on what you're worth. So there's a lot of issues that can happen when you own your agency and so in this video I want to cover you know some of my own experiences how I've gone from you know not having an agency just being a gym owner and then going up and having a seven-figure business for my agency within a year and a half all right so uh, a couple things that I've learned along the way is it's really important that you go narrow and deep on a niche, okay? So for me, uh, I focus on people in the online space. So whether they have a physical product or a digital product online, that's typically what I work with. And I also work with franchises, right? So people who are a seven figure business and up, those are the ones that I love to work with because uh, for me, I know that they're playing the long game, all right? They have the capital to uh, spend money on advertising, all right? They're, I'm not their savior, okay? So a lot of times as a uh, agency, you'll, you'll, you'll realize as you have a client uh, I would never take a client on who's like man I need to make it work this month otherwise I'm going out of business <laughs> it's just a terrible position to be in as an agency owner because you don't want to be in a, a savior to them because let's face it sometimes it takes more than a month to get them up and running and get them to where they want to be successfully right uh, so that's really important so make sure you go narrow and deep on your niche that you want to go so if you want to focus on just gym owners and running ads for them go for it right did stem cell clinics go for it if it's uh, influ influencers go for it right just be sure to focus narrow and deep and the reason why guys is because uh, it comes down to systems and processes right Right? So as a, uh, as a business, as an agency, it's always about being able to scale and being able to scale is really important if you have systems in place and it's the only way you can scale. So, you know, for example, if you're working with, you know, a lot of different clients in different industries, it's going to be an issue because there's all different types of strategy for e-commerce. There's a different strategy for running for doctors, right? And so you want to make sure that you're, you're keeping things narrow and deep so you can literally copy and paste uh, for each new person that you bring on board, okay? So that's gonna help smooth out your uh, transitions when it comes to onboarding clients and getting them up and running and getting them success, okay? Because it's just literally rinsing and repeating. And then also as an agency owner, you're able to plug and play those key people into those roles, you know, to run the ads, to manage the clients, to give the reporting, and it just makes everything a lot smoother. But if you have all different industries, that can cause a huge problem for you and your agency. All right guys, so let's talk about a couple different struggles that most agency owners are going through. Um, and I know they're going through it because, you know, first of all, I've experienced these issues and also uh, other agency owners that I talk to are constantly uh, telling me they're having these issues too. So uh, one of the biggest issues people have is uh, dealing with clients who are just, they, they just overwhelm you, right? They're just, they're like time vampires, right? They just suck out the time and the life out of you, right? And that's really, really tough because if you have a client that is really needy and they're just constantly checking in on you and constantly going into the account and checking in on what you're doing, that can be really frustrating right because as an agency you just want to kind of go in there do your thing you're the marketing expert right at least you're supposed to be and so you want to be able to do what you're doing right so how do you deal with that and how do you handle that well the best thing guys is first of all um, I'm a big believer in I love to interview uh, my clients right or my potential clients so uh, when I first started I would take on anybody right because I just wanted to I wanted to get things going and I was just not not desperate but I wanted to make things happen right so I take on anybody and, and during that time I would run into a couple clients they were just you know you couldn't pay me enough money to work with them right um, and so now I've learned that it's important to not only interview the the potential client right because they're gonna be like hey why should I work with you and my thing is why should I work with you okay because you know for me I want clients who have similar personalities as me uh, who are in playing the long game like I said they're not gonna be uh, I'm not their savior okay so it's really important that you inter interview that person and if at any time you feel that you know kind of feeling in your gut like oh man like I don't know if this person's gonna be uh, someone that I really want to work with or I think this could be an issue down the line uh, then trust your gut and don't take that client on okay and just say hey listen I don't think this is a good fit right now and here's why all right just be nice be professional about it but it's okay to say no to that client all right and a lot of times those clients when I've said no to them they've come back 
and they've totally changed their attitude, they've totally changed their thinking, and now they actually listen to me, right? You know, it's almost like if you're dating somebody, right? And if you're, and if you're desperate and you're trying to get this girl and you're trying to text her and call her and everything, you seem really just weird, all right? That's gonna push them off, right? But if you're just like, hey, listen, like, if it works out, cool. If it doesn't, no big deal, wish you the best, all right? They're typically gonna be more attracted to you, right? So same thing when it comes to clients, um, the agency clients, it's just be professional, all right? If you know what you're doing and you know your shit, all right, you're gonna be able to uh, just command higher pricing and also you're gonna be able to hand pick the clients you wanna work with. So another issue that most agency owners deal with is being able to get more clients on board um, and asking for referrals. And this is something that always amazes me because I know that a lot of businesses, they never ask for a referral. So the clients that I work with, when I ask them, hey, how many people do you get on a daily basis or weekly basis from referrals? And they're like, oh, you know what, not many. Well, the reason why, guys, is because they don't ask for it, all right? Um, and there's some stats, I believe the stat is like 60% or even higher, almost 80% of people would actually refer somebody to your business if they were asked. Okay, <laughs> and the crazy thing is is most business owners don't ask for a referral so for me, when I'm working with a client and I take on a client, I make it a condition. I say to them, hey, uh, hey Joe, I'm so excited to bring you on board. And just so you know, we have a policy here that um, if you are loving your success and you're having success, we would love to work with people that are awesome just like you, Joe. So can you name one or two people that you think that might be interested in having their ads run by us as well? Just ask them that, okay? And what's gonna happen is they're gonna say, oh yeah, no, I got a couple of people we can do that. Or they're gonna say, hey, let's get things going and then I'll refer those people to you. Either way, it's great because now it's you've planted that seed, all right, now they're gonna be able to refer people to you. And when somebody refers another person to you guys, that's the best way and that's the highest converting way to get that person on as a client because uh, if someone vouches for you, you're in, okay? You're gonna be able to get them signed up, all right? So uh, make sure you always ask the referral. Don't be shy about that. Just be cool about it and say, hey, Joe, I love working with you. Uh, you're a great guy, and I would love to work with other people because I'm sure the friends of you are equally as awesome. So do you have anybody that has a business that, that could have uh, their ads run by me? You could benefit from our marketing? And just ask them, guys. So don't be afraid to ask for the referral and ask for the sale. Another struggle that most agency owners struggle with is when uh, campaigns are not working out, right? So uh, this is always a tough spot when it comes to running ads, right? And I've dealt with this many times because I'm very good at running ads in Facebook um, and, and digital marketing in general. Uh, but guys, there are times when you run into roadblocks, right? Maybe a campaign isn't working out the way it should. Um, you maybe had a great month, but then the next month, for whatever reason, something didn't work, okay? And you gotta realize when you're working with clients, you know, typically they don't know uh, much about the inside scoop when it comes to Facebook ads, right? We all know when you run Facebook ads, there's highs and lows, uh, depend, you know, things break, uh, things don't work, conversions don't work sometimes. And so as an agency owner, it's really, really important that you convey that and just be frank and be honest with your clients and let them know what's going on and just say, hey, listen, you know, here's what's going on. You know, this, we didn't have a great campaign this time and here's why I think a X, Y, Z <laughs> and just go from there, right? People appreciate honesty and the people appreciate you being upfront and just being professional with them. So I'll give you a perfect example. So I had a client uh, just recently who were run they're running a campaign. They're a, uh, they're a medical doctor and they have a clinic and typically we get them leads left and right. So we fill their, their, their clinics up with tons of people and tons of patients and usually they're happy. And so we were at running ads for this one location and for whatever reason, the amount of leads we got was about half of what we usually do, right? And so that's kind of frustrating because you know we're working the campaign, we're doing all these things, we're trying to make it happen. And for whatever reason, we just couldn't get the campaign to work. So. What did we do? Did we just make any excuses or whatever? No, we just, we went and we talked to the doctor and said, hey, hey, listen, I think uh, this is what happened, right? I'm not sure why it happened, but here's what I think we can do to improve it so it doesn't happen again, okay? So if you just come to them and say, hey, this is what went wrong, all right, and this is how we can fix it, all right, they're gonna appreciate that. They're gonna respect you more. All right, if you're just like, oh, you know what? Like, I don't know, maybe it just it's just one of those things, right? No, you gotta come with it with a plan, right? And say, hey, this is what went wrong, all right? I believe this is what we can do to fix it, and this is our game plan moving forward, okay? If you do that, uh, that's gonna make you seem a lot more professional. Uh, the doctor or the clinic or the, uh, <laughs> the client in general is gonna have a lot more respect for you, and they're gonna stick with you, okay? Because uh, people can handle um, failure as long as you're working with them and you're treating them with respect and you're being professional about it and being honest and upfront about it, okay? And so that's really important as a uh, agency owner. Don't be afraid if you have a bad campaign. Hey, it happens from time to time, all right? So it's important though you be upfront and you just be honest with that client. And then finally, guys, the last thing that I always hear from agency owners is 
uh, charging what you're worth, all right? So this is something that uh, a lot of people struggle with because uh, in the digital marketing agency world, you can charge a lot for your services, all right? I know that some people are charging maybe $500 a month to a client, uh, but for me, I'm charging anywhere from five to $10,000 a month per uh, client, okay? And the reason why I do that is because I know what I'm worth, I know what value I can bring to that person, all right? And I wanna give you a perfect example of why it's so important to command what you're worth, um, and because the worst thing that's gonna happen, guys, is gonna say no, okay? And if they say no, fine, then you work around it, you find a solution, and you make it happen, right? But never undercharge for your services, guys, because uh, let's face it, anytime I've ever given someone a deal or I've undercharged at all, uh, it's come to bite me, <laughs> bite me in the butt because uh, that client ends up wanting, you know, giving, wanting more work from me, making me work harder than most other clients, uh, and it's just it's not worth the money, guys. And in fact, I've always found that the clients that pay me more money are actually less maintenance. Uh, they don't really need me to check in daily, all right, and they're just so much more easy to work with, okay, because they're more invested into it, right? So uh, I'll give you a perfect example. So. Uh, a couple of months ago, I was working uh, you know, with a potential client and I was talking to them about my services and looking to do stuff and and here I am, uh, you know, thinking that I'm charging, you know, top dollar, right? So I'm like, hey, it's going to be X amount of dollars for this. Um, and they said to me, geez, wow, that's it? That's, that's a bargain. And I said, well, what do you mean? Like, you know, thinking that they were going to be like, wow, this is, this is too expensive. And they said, oh yeah, the, 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 the service and, and the agency we're working with, working with uh, currently uh, is charging us uh, $16,000 a month right now, right? I was like, what? Like, I couldn't believe it because here I am going into the conversation thinking that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, they're gonna be like, wow, this, they're gonna say no way to this offer, All right? But they actually thought it was a deal, okay? Because they were actually paying more uh, with the other agency, and it made me think, geez, why didn't I charge more for it, guys? So. It just goes to show that you have to get your own personal thoughts when it comes to uh, money and I would just get it out of the way, okay? Because I remember even being a personal trainer and I remember back in the day, um, you know, with my membership for my boot camp, I would charge $99 a month and I wouldn't charge more than that, okay? And the reason why I wouldn't charge more than that was because for me as a 21 year old kid, $99 was a ton of money, okay? But for my clients, it was nothing, right? I probably could have charged double for it, but it was only because of my own preconceived notions about money and where I was at in my life that I didn't charge more guys. So get your own personal feelings about money out of the way and charge what you're worth, right? If you think your services are worth $5,000 a month, then charge $5,000 a month and command it, be confident in it. And if you're confident in your services and what you have to offer, then your clients will be confident in paying you that price guys. So that's another piece of advice when it comes to charging what you're worth uh, for your services. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. If you like this video, then I know you're gonna love the free gift that I have for you in the description box below. It's a free training on how I became the number one ClickBank affiliate in the world, but more importantly, how you can make money online too with affiliate marketing. Now guys, as always, if you like this video, make sure you do three things for me right now. Give me a thumbs up showing me you love this content. Comment with your questions and comments below because I love to hear from my subscribers. And finally, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because each and every week we're pumping out brand new content that's gonna help you make more money and have more success online. So that's it guys, I'll talk to you soon and see you in the next video.